And I want them out of their comfort zone. As coaches, we practice, 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 practice. Everything's scripted. Five minutes for this, five minutes for that. Then you go in the game, and all hell breaks loose. And you're like, whoa. Um, you know what? Why don't we go to Jalen first? Because, you know, as a college star, I want to ask you, is this a normal thing that coaches use all kinds of distractions to get you ready for your, your fight or flight moments? Absolutely, Beats. And I know it sounds a little weird, and Kelly can be a little strange. And it's a do-or-die year for him. The team has struggled the last couple of years. They haven't necessarily been in the BCS title contention since 2012. But one of the things that people underestimate about athletes, and Dan, please chime in here, is the level of concentration, the level of focus, the level of discipline you have to have from second to second, play to play, moment to moment. And when you create that little diversion to make sure everybody's going to stay locked in so you don't get that costly penalty that ends up costing your football team. What do you think? Well, Jalen, one, I, I th thank you for reference me, referencing me as an athlete. That means a lot, Aww. first of all. Um, you know, when I read this story and I hear Brian <laughs> Kelly and whatnot, I think Tiger Woods, and I think of Here his we dad. You know, oh. there was, I remember the, reading the stories about Tiger Woods and his dad, and when he was practicing and, and hitting range balls or standing on a tee box, you read the story that Earl Woods would just throw golf clubs at his son <laughs> during his backswing Fabulous. or downswing, and we've seen Tiger kind of stop his swing before. So I can appreciate that. I've had coaches who have done stuff like you this. You have? I mean, okay. Oh, yeah. Like so, what? It was my sophomore year at UConn, and we were in the rain in 35 degrees, and I remember walking out to practice going, I don't want to do this. And I had a coach of mine who's now the head coach at Towns University. It was raining, and he said, jump in that puddle right now. And he's like, be, be ready to play in bad weather. You've got to be handling anything. It's not always going to be perfect. I literally jumped in the puddle, practiced, froze my tail Focus. off, yep. and we ended up playing that, that week at Navy in a torrential downpour. So... I've been in the NFL where Rod Marinelli, who's a renowned coach, we were playing a preseason game out in Oakland. This is from Detroit, out in Oakland. Flew us morning of the game out to Oakland. We stopped at a hotel for an hour and then wow. played the game. And his whole thing was no one adjusts better than us. If it works, it works. If you win, you... <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> if you win, you're a genius. Right, if, you if, lose, not... if you lose, players will start to pick that apart, you know? And I just get concerned... Sometimes that coaches forget we have to win. We have to win. Was that the year you were 0-16? Wow, Greeny uh, chiming in. Uh, peanut gallery. <laughs> That's uh, not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. It was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the if it works, it works. Jalen, did you guys ever have anything bizarre like that or some sort of a forced distraction to, to get you to be able to chill in the real event? Not necessarily a forced distraction, but Greeny, you touched the nerve there. I'm in Detroit doing this program. You know I'm a lifetime Lions fan. You're going to bring up the Owen 16 squad while we have a guest on the show. That was rude, Greeny. I'm really disappointed in you. I thought there'd be more manners in this place. No, 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 no. You're in New York now. We get to do whatever we want, say whatever we want. No filter whatsoever. All right, so J Jalen didn't have it. I, I think it's interesting. And I also, you forget that these are kids. You know, as an adult, you think, yeah, there's nothing you could really throw at me to distract me. But then you forget, well, these are young guys. So as much as it seems crazy as you're reading this, it actually makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I do like it. I yeah. really do. And there's, there's a lot of rhyme and reason to it because he's, he's right. When you get into the game, it's like, what do we do? Uh-oh. And so the more you can create that environment and get those kids ready for it, the games will be easier. But it has to work. It does. Because if you don't win and you're doing that stuff, players will start to turn you up, tune you out.